What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a couple weeks since I've done a video and I do apologize for that. I should be uploading content more regularly, but between work, between other things going on, I have had a few things that have prevented me from filming, but that's on me. I hope everybody's doing great out there. Tonight I'm coming to you with a video that's going to be a review of another third-party unlicensed figure. It may be the most enormous figure in my freaking collection. God damn, he's big. Um, it might be about Hulkbuster size. Let me know in the comments below. But, man, damn, this figure is enormous. Um, it is the Toys Era, the tank. Don't know if anybody's seen it. Don't know if anybody's ordered it. It's one of those things Sideshow has probably absolutely dropped the ball on yet again. This figure is actually the Juggernaut from Deadpool 2. I kid you not, he takes up the entire center of a shelf. If you look behind me, let me move my nugget out of the way. That's him in the middle. He's huge. I had to take a slat out of the shelf to put this friggin' huge-ass figure in it. He is absolutely probably my favorite new purchase. Now, that being said, I did have quite a few good weeks of toy hunting. But tonight, that's not what this is about. This is just going to be a quick review on that Juggernaut figure. However, I do have a few more things in that haul I want to show you guys. So I'll make a couple more videos this week, and we will get to that. Now, with that said, let's go ahead and review this figure. He's fantastic. I think you guys will get a kick out of him. I'll put a link down in the description below. Also, I will let you know I did pick him up at my local comic store, so I didn't have to pay shipping. If you guys are in the Somerset area, cheap pop and cheap plug, go check out Lemon Juice McGee's comic book Cavalcade. I've known the owner for years, great guy great shop, has his finger on the pulse with any kind of collectibles you need. Check him out on Facebook, Lemon Juice McGee's Comic Book Cavalcade. Now, after that shout out, I'll go ahead and get the figure ready, because Jesus Christ, I do not know how I'm going to film this, because this figure is so large. It's going to be a reverse unboxing. It's going to have to be just like I did with the Joaquin Phoenix Joker. But man, I am excited. Let's get pumped. Let's get ready. I'm going to punch in and show you this thing. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. Juggernaut. All right, guys. Let's head over to the shelf and take a look at the beast in the middle. Man, I don't know if the camera's catching it or not, but the stripes and the, you know... DMC on the pants are actually reflective. Uh, I'll take a couple flash camera shots with that later to show you. Look at the size of this guy, man. Like, literally, literally double the size of either of these Deadpool figures. If you go in and closer, and I'll show you the head sculpt. Man... Look at this. The metal detailing is absolutely great. The dry brushing is fantastic. You look, there's even an angry head sculpt under the helmet. I don't know if anybody's ever tried to take this off, but there is an entire fucking face under here. Just don't know what it looks like. Not going to try to remove the helmet because I feel like that's going to ruin the figure. Um, looking down here at the detail on the fist with the torn gloves. Absolutely awesome. Fists are huge. Other fist is absolutely huge. The only thing I don't like about these fists is no fingernail details. It's all one color. Nothing's any lighter. Maybe a little bit, but not noticeable. We'll pan down. We'll take a look at the detail on the clothing. The clothing is fantastic. Look at the size of this guy's feet. They're almost as big as the base on this Deadpool 2 figure. I picked this figure up for around 200 bucks. Maybe I want to say about 
220, 230, maybe. He's actually just a really amazing figure. Now, I'm going to tell you he's not much on articulation, so you're not going to get any huge action poses. I'll actually show you guys the box and things here in just a moment. Um, he does come with an alternate set of hands, and you can remove the sleeves on this to maybe get him in a little bit more of an articulated pose or two. I prefer to display this with the sleeves, even though the arms are painted and, and greatly detailed. I feel like just displaying them with the sleeves is better. And he does hold quite a centerpiece presence, though, on a shelf. Let me go ahead. What I'll do is I'll grab the box, we'll do some more filming, and I'll show you the rest, okay? What's in the box? Not to you give me the What's gun. in the fucking box? Guys, as promised, here is the box for the figure. The box is huge. I've had to pan the camera out all the way to show it. Uh, the outer box just says the tank, of course. You'll go up and see in the gold letters says the tank has the Toys Era logo. You flip the box around. The detail on the side of the box is great. Looks like the helmet. Turn the box again. You get the X logo with all the credits of the sculptors and everything. Pretty awesome. But the box is pretty flimsy. It's not one of those hard outer shell boxes. This one has a little ding in the bottom corner. And also a little ding over here. But I'm sure that's from shipping. Don't know if you can see that. Let me go ahead and open this box. And I'll show you what's inside. Alright guys. This is what the Juggernaut comes with inside the box. He's got a set of hands for grabbing. Maybe tearing Deadpool apart. Maybe tearing another six scale figure apart. Who knows? Maybe choking him out. That one's got a little bit of a paint damage dent there. Not bad, though. Pretty good. The detailing's there. The stitching's there. Uh, got the detail for the knuckles. I wish they'd done a little more dry brushing and a little more finger detail on that. But all in all, great hand sculpts. Uh, the other one is identical. It also comes with a set of tweezers for manipulating the sleeve off and onto the body. If you look here, here they are. A giant set of plastic tweezers. Big honking set of them. Looks like some kind of surgical or medical tool. Not really going to be used for that ever. Really cool though. Um, if you look, the instructions will actually show you how to manipulate that. And what it should look like. Myself, I'm probably not going to do this with the figure, like I said, because I like the sleeve look a little better. It hides the arm joint. Now, I will say that this would probably give him a little more articulation for some action poses. Say you have a Colossus 6 scale figure you want him fighting. But I still probably won't do that. And I'll give you a good look at those sleeves here in just a second as well. Uh, here they are. They're just basically fabric sleeves. The other ones pop off. These Velcro on with the, just this little strip on the inside there. Great rip detailing on them though. Uh, overall, probably 10 out of 10. One of the best figures I own. If you like this, smash the like button. Check out the link to Giant Toy in the comments below. Or actually in the description, not the comments rather. And once you do that, you can order your own. He's on pre-order right now. He's not sold out. So I'm going to punch out, get back to the desk, do a recap, and leave some photos at the end of this video that are a little more detailed. All right, guys. I am back at the desk. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know what you think of the figure. Leave some comments down below. Leave a little love. Smash the like button. Hit subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I upload new content. Like I said, I'm going to start doing this a bit more regularly when time permits. I do have a lot of things in the toy haul that I've picked up over the past two weeks that I would love to do a review on. Let me give you guys a sneak peek of the next review. I will actually let you know I did pick this up from the Comic Cavalcade as well. It is the Six Scale Creator Studio Psycho Killer, a.k.a. Michael Myers from the 2018 Halloween film. 
Let me grab the box for the sneak preview. Give me just a moment. There you go, guys. You can see in my hand the box for that. Now, within the next week, maybe the next few days, I'll probably drop a review on that as well. There's some other things in the haul that I'd like to share with you guys. I'm probably not going to box those, though. Uh, I do have the Hugh Jackman Wolverine from the Fox X-Men series, which is the Amazon exclusive. I also do have the Prophet Director Destro, a.k.a. the Pimp Daddy Destro, with the cheetah print. I also picked up the Dark Speedster six-scale figure from a third party called So So Toys, That'll be in the reviews as well. It's actually Zoom from the Flash TV series. Um, there's a couple things I'll run up on. I also have the Supreme Knight Mezco Batman that I'm going to drop a review on as well. So smash that like button. Stay tuned. More to come. Let me drop this box. You guys stay safe out there. Have a great night wherever you are. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you later.